Today is Saturday of the second week of Ordinary Time. Let me begin by reading to you the brief passage of the Gospel for today. It's taken from the third chapter of St Mark. It consists just of two verses, verses 20 to 21. Jesus came with his disciples to the house. Again the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. Well, what does that passage suggest to us about our Lord? Our Gospel scene takes us into what might have been a typical day in much of our Lord's public ministry. He and his disciples were given over to intense and unending work. We are told that on this day our Lord came with his disciples into the house, possibly to have a respite and to have something to eat, because the problem of getting something to eat is then specifically mentioned. But the crowds followed him, and there was no respite at all, with people thronging in and listening to him, possibly asking him questions, and presumably making countless requests. They did not have a minute to themselves, not even to catch a bite to eat. The fact that our Lord's relatives were saying that he is beside himself or he is out of his mind would suggest that the great press of the crowds was due to our Lord giving himself entirely to them. Nothing was holding him back in his gift of himself to them in his work. The crowds knew he loved them profoundly. They knew that he was full of compassion for their burdens. This comes again, it comes through again and again in the Gospels. From the point of view of the crowds, here they had before them a profoundly holy man with unheard of power before God. He taught with absolute authority and wielded authority over nature and the demonic world as well. He could do anything for them, and he seemed to them to be entirely accessible. The intensity of his work and the scale of his availability shows the love behind our Lord's ministry. It shows the love with which he exercised his public ministry. And it seemed to his relatives that he was beside himself or out of his mind. A modern saint often spoke of being mad with love for God and for all others in God. Well, the exemplar of this love is Jesus, and we have evidence of it in today's Gospel passage. But there are further implications in our brief Gospel today. Consider the ease with which our Lord's relatives presumed to set out to restrain him, saying he is out of his mind. It suggests that during our Lord's thirty years at Nazareth he was remarkably humble, unassuming, and very much part of his family circle and town. Our Lord was unique in the greatness of his person, but he did not show it during those years. One senses from this reaction of his relatives that while they would have recognised the goodness of his person and that of his mother and foster father, his goodness did not impose itself on them. They were in no way cowered by it. Indeed, our brief gospel today suggests that they took him somewhat for granted. And this in turn suggests that our Lord accepted this attitude to him during those hidden years at Nazareth. 
how like so many family and community situations this is. Our Lord once said that a prophet is never accepted as such among his own. He had been a hidden Messiah and his bursting on the public scene was the utmost surprise to his townspeople and to his relatives with the exception of course of Mary his mother. All this reminds us how truly incarnated he, the second divine person, really was. God truly became man and as man subjected himself to all the normal laws of human and social life. He was God with us, with us in every way, with the exception of having personal sin. There was no sin in Christ. Christ on one occasion described his heart. It was meek and humble. Well, Nazareth illustrates how this was so. The contrast between his hidden and very human years at Nazareth and his spectacular public ministry as described in our Gospel today was striking. So let us think of this divine Christ who is so very human. Our, br our brief Gospel scene today shows Jesus pouring himself out in love for his fellow man in unremittingly intense work those who had known him all along in his family circle thought he was beside himself, out of his mind. Christ wishes to give himself to each one of us with equal love and generosity. So let us ask him for his grace and his love. And let us accept his invitation to come to him and learn from him for he is meek and humble of heart, and we shall find rest for our souls.